In a recent interview on USA Watchdog, financial and geopolitical analyst Warren Pollock outlined a strategy that I also see as effective for survival in these volatile times. He calls it getting small. At this point in time, being someone who is conspicuously productive and or wealthy is a big liability, especially if you are not part of the political and corporate class of which the rules that we must live under seem not to apply. Huge parts of the population are living off of theft through the state. Much of it is pushed off into the future through debt, but it is theft nonetheless. It only takes a short, rational look at the medical, financial, and academic industries, just to name a few, to realize that the system is horribly corrupt with almost no resemblance of what a healthy capitalist economy should look like. Not only that, but in the rapidly changing and volatile global economy, making the long-term decision to start a business is almost an impossible calculation. What will your prospective market look like in 5-10 to 10 years? What will the tax regime look like? What government regulations will affect you? What kind of inflation rates will you be experiencing during this time period? There are many of these questions that will give you pause in investing time and money into starting a new enterprise. This is a concept which Professor Robert Higgs labeled regime uncertainty. There are also the looming signs of a large economic crash, or at least a monumental shift, in the next five to ten years. The unsustainable trajectory of governments worldwide is clear to see. It's not a matter of if, but when these systems will fail. Exactly what the world will look like on the other end of this shift is unknown. So knowing all of this, what is one to do, especially someone who is young and wants to be successful while not becoming a victim of their own success? It may seem like this is all negative without any good solution, but that is not the case. I'll give my recommendations, but first, I'll let Warren Pollock explain what it means to get small. You know, strategy for our times is to get small. And um, I mean, there's almost no merit to opening up a, a factory in the U.S. There's almost no merit to even opening up a, a coffee shop. I knew a lawyer locally that wanted to, to open up a coffee shop. It was going to cost him $450,000, bribes to the local building inspectors, um, you know, what, to sell a $2 cup of coffee? So the ability of America to become productive is being just destroyed by systemic uh, by systemic theft. And a lot of this theft is is loaded out into the future via debt. Well, I, I think, again, Carl Denninger has that correct uh, in, his, in his analysis is he could open up uh, a business tomorrow and generate six or seven figures, certainly. But why would he do that if everything is going to be taken away from him, if he's going to be exposed to tremendous amounts of risk and he won't be able to keep the, the, the bounty that he created from his own mind? So he's, got, he's getting small. He's withdrawing his consent. And the way you, you do that is with money. You know, if you can't vote at the boot, voting booth and that has no effect, you can vote with your money and make yourself less of a target. You know, I've personally sold some real estate uh, because it's a vector for, uh, you know, taxation. Um, I, I try to make, live a modest life. And this is all depriving people uh, of revenue via theft. And that's how you make yourself small. I mean, try not to be on Twitter. Try not to be on Facebook. Uh, don't give people information that can be used against you and will. I actually do see merit in his recommendation to stay off social media. I'm on social media and have opened myself up online for a variety of reasons, although I understand the risks, but I don't recommend it for everyone. During the interview, Pollock recommends that people withdraw completely and live a simple life. Many people do take this approach, but I do not, however, think that is necessary. In today's age, it's easier than ever to get small while still being ambitious. Some practical ways to implement the strategy are having no personal debt, having a location-independent business, this will allow you to change your jurisdiction if need be. Work as a freelancer or contractor rather than an employee. Embrace minimalism. Having too many possessions will weigh you down and cost you money unnecessarily. Having as little interaction with banks as possible for your personal finances. You can do this with cash, PayPal, cryptocurrencies, barter, etc. Not owning the house that you live in, or at least not having it in your name. Living as a tourist in a country where you're not a citizen and do not engage in business, preferably in a low-cost area with little to no VAT and that you know you could exit easily if need be. Invest in yourself and your own health and skill levels. Your body is something that you can always take with you. Stay away from family courts by having airtight agreements with your significant other, not involving the state in your relationship, or avoiding marriage altogether. Avoid social media or use an alias and use encryption when communicating about sensitive issues over email personally associating with people that you share values with and that you can trust. I know that many of you think that these suggestions are paranoid and unnecessary. 
I am certainly not saying that everyone must adhere to all of them strictly, but I do think that they are good rules of thumb to keep in mind. Also, don't only think about what the state of affairs is today, but what it may be like in the future. If you make a long-term commitment or leave a record of something, and the laws change in, say, 10 to 20 years, you may still be held accountable for the new policies. Taking risk is an important part of getting ahead in life, but let's be realistic about the amount of risk that we're faced with today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, please head over to borderlessblog.com and get on the mailing list to stay updated on how you can survive and thrive through the information age. Borderless.